Today I will be fixing some notoriously awful shiny Pokemon and making their shinies look absolutely fantastic. Yo what is up you guys it's Dominator here and I am back with another video. This video I'm going to be taking a stab at fixing some pretty bad shiny Pokemon. You know, we got shiny Pokemon. Everyone knows there's some pretty terrible ones out there. And I'm going to be showing my fixes for these shiny Pokemon. What I would do to fix these shiny Pokemon, make them a little better. Now, I want to point out that I am not completely changing the shiny Pokemon. I will be fixing the current shinies we have based on what they already look like. So there aren't going to be too many drastic changes. Actually, there probably will be. There, For the most part, I'm going to be going off of the themes that were given and what I would do to correct these bad shiny Pokemon. So before we begin, make sure you leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so yet. We're actually getting dangerously close to 9,000 subscribers. So thank you guys so much for all the support. And if you haven't hit that sub button yet, make sure you do it. We do a lot of Pokemon shiny content, including uh, shiny Kanto living decks, shiny tier lists, and I guess fixing shiny Pokemon now. So let's get right into this. I wanted to start this video off with the most obvious shiny that there is that's just so bad iconically bad the probably iconically worst shiny that anyone can think of if you think of a bad shiny pokemon the first pokemon you think of is this pokemon we got shiny gengar so i got shiny gengar here shiny gengar i also have to mention i am using the pokemon home shiny sprites so fair warning with that sometimes pokemon home has some interesting color choices for their pokemon for their regular pokemon and shiny pokemon so we are going off of the pokemon home sprites i do have the regular gengar next to the shiny gengar it, honestly in pokemon home they make the regular gengar look different enough from the shiny Gengar. That is not the case in game. In game, the regular Gengar isn't as bright purple as it is in the Pokemon Home Sprite that I'm using. So the main difference in the shinies in terms of in game is that the shiny Gengar's eyes are a little more on the pinker side and then the regular Gengar's eyes are a little more on the reddish orange side. They do look quite a bit different from these home sprites, I will give them that, but without a doubt it's such a bad shiny. It gets like a slightly more grayish purple color and then the eyes change very slightly. So what I decided to do to fix this shiny, and I actually mentioned this in my Generation 1 shiny tier list, you can check that video out in the card that I will leave right now on screen, but I actually mentioned that I did update this shiny sprite, what I would do to this shiny to make it look cool, and I essentially just changed the eye color from that pinkish orange color to blue. And I think this makes it look way cooler, way more creepy, ghostly, and on top of that, it keeps the theme of the blue color for the shinies of the other two. Now, I always mention this, but no one has a problem with shiny Haunter. Like, shiny Haunter, not that exciting of a shiny, but no one has a problem with it because it at least has that drastic color change in the mouth, where pretty much only the mouth changes. The tongue, the mouth, it changes blue. It changes to blue, and that's pretty much it, but no one has an issue with it. Part of it is probably because Gengar shiny sucks so bad, but I feel like in this case, bringing that blue color over from, like, Haunter's mouth into the eyes of shiny Gengar would make it look really cool. Also on top of that, you can't really see it here. I do have another image, but it's not the best color that I wanted to pick with it. But I will point out that I do think the inside of the mouth should also be the blue color like shiny Haunter. And I think that would just make it so much cooler. And I think they can keep the grayish purple color because it does look a little spooky with the blue. And I do really enjoy that. I also wanted to do one more color change. Uh, this one, also keeping the blue theme, this one has more reddish eyes than normal. And then the skin tone is completely blue. Now, this is very reminiscent of the shiny Gengar they have in Pokemon Shuffle, which... I don't know why they redesigned Shiny Gengar so many times in different games, but they refuse to change the actual Shiny Gengar in main series. Part of me thinks that it's because Shiny Gengar is so iconically bad, everyone knows how much it sucks, that it would be weird if they just randomly changed it one day. Especially this far into the Pokemon series, we're, go we're going on Gen 9 now, so it would be weird if for 8 generations of Pokemon, or I guess 7 technically, Shiny Gengar had the same trash Shiny form, and then randomly one generation 
it just had a completely different shiny form. Uh, I mean, I guess they kind of did it with Combuskin. They updated Combuskin a bit, but that one wasn't as crazy because Combuskin was a bad shiny, but it kind of, they kind of changed it back to similar to how it looked in the original Ruby Sapphire Emerald game. So that one makes a little more sense. But yeah, this shiny Gengar, I do really like. I'm unsure which one I like more if I like just the subtle eyes and mouth changing or the whole skin tone changing to blue. I think both of them are really cool. Um, if they were to change it, I think this color option with the blue skin tone would be more likely because, I mean, they did do it in Pokemon Shuffle. I'll show the picture of Shiny Gengar and Pokemon Shuffle on screen now because that one blew my mind because when I first saw that, I was like, why is doesn't Gengar look like this in main series? And also, that's really cool. So, that was shiny gengar let me know what you guys thought on this shiny color let me know if you would change anything i did want to try to make one where it was white kind of like the megas and the gigantamax but it didn't really look right and honestly i like keeping the blue theme i like i do enjoy keeping the themes of like the full evolution line shiny if a shiny is gonna suck in its final stage the the mega and the gigantamax shinies don't they don't really excite me they're not that cool of shinies in my opinion it, it, it to me it seems like Game Freak was trying too hard to make the shinies look different, and I just think they could have done a blue theme instead of a white theme because it just is so different, and again, it looks like they're trying way too hard for it to be different. But uh, So I tried to do a, a white shiny Gengar, but I didn't really like it, so that one was not showing. But let me know what you guys would do to fi fix shiny Gengar if you had the choice, but these are my options for shiny Gengar. Moving on, we have my least favorite shiny of all time i had to do this one this one is one of those shinies that hardly changes but the reason why i hate it so much is because it looked better in the older games and they just changed it one day and decided to make it look awful so so we got shiny iggly buff here you can hardly tell this thing is shiny oh you actually thought this was the shiny iggly buff no 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 this is the regular iggly buff that i'm showing on screen now this is the shiny iggly buff slightly darker eyes slightly more pinkish skin tone barely oh it's such a bad shiny man and it what it, what it could have been and i don't even think like even in my tier list i ranked jigglypuff and wigglytuff pretty low on my tier list but like the fact that oh, i'm just gonna start ranting about this i don't want to do this but <laughs> So, so I'm just gonna let me just let me just show what my first change was my first change the obvious change I changed the eyes green and also the curly Q on it is a little more green now That is just to reference the generation 2 games Shiny Iggly buff had green eyes and a more pinkish skin tone in the generation 2 games and they just decided to change it and make it look no different so that's part of the reason why I absolutely hate the shiny Pokemon but yeah, I changed its eyes in curly Q to green. I'm not going to say it's the best shiny, but I think this is a huge step in the right direction. And then the other option I have is I just made the skin tone a little more saturated because it's even more reminiscent of that Gen 2 shiny sprite. So I, I just kind of want it to be like how it was before because it was way better. It followed the theme that the other two in its evolution line had for its shinies. And it was what it was back in the day, and it just isn't anymore, and it, it sucks. It's so bad now. I hate it. I hate it so much. But uh, that's what I would change with Iggly Buff. Obviously, nothing crazy. I, I don't know what I would do if I were to just, like, go all out to make the shiny. Because, honestly, I, I don't mind shiny Jigglypuff or Wigglytuff. I don't think those are that bad of shinies anyway. So, to just match that theme completely fixes shiny Iggly Buff, in my opinion. So... There's shiny Iggly buff. Let me know what you guys think on this one. A little bit faster on my explanations, but there's not too much to say on it. It's just what it could have been. What it could have been. All right, moving on. We got shiny Garchomp. This is one of the most hated shinies in the entire series. I'm honestly unsure why. Like this is this blows my mind to me. Like there are so many people that think shiny Garchomp is just the absolute worst shiny Pokemon to ever... Like, people think it's like an insult to the community that this shiny exists. I don't know, I think that's more of an Iggly buff for me. Like, there are way worse shinies out there. I have shiny Garchomp on screen now. In fact, I'll even put up the regular Garchomp on screen next to it. And it's just... Comparing them together... You can totally tell the difference. A lot of people use the excuse like you can't tell the difference. It's so obvious. The skin tone on this thing is like really like a way lighter like grayish color. 
it's like not even purple it's almost like a grayish blue color not really i wouldn't really say blue maybe like a grayish indigo color and then its chest is orange which isn't that bad i will say though i'm guessing the shiny up a lot it's still a really bad shiny i just want to defend it because i think garchomp gets too much hate for its shiny like it's not the worst shiny in the world by far but it's still a pretty bad shiny so that's why we're fixing it so we got the shiny garchomp i really liked the idea of the chest turning orange i think that looks sick but like the skin tone needs to be a little more drastic i'm not a huge fan of black shinies i think black shinies are what people want the most all the time and it gets a little old because there's only a handful of black shinies I think really work, and that's like Charizard and Rayquaza and like maybe one or two here and there, but I think a lot of people always want to see shinies turn black, and that's just not the case for me. But Garchomp, this will be an exception because I actually think this looks so cool with the black and orange, and then leave like just leaving everything the same, but changing the skin tone to black instead of that weird grayish color. So I do really like this one. This one might be my favorite of the ones I did. This was the first one I decided to do. And then the other options I had were to try to make the shiny Garchomp similar to the shiny forms of the previous evolutions. Now they're all pretty different, but they all have that bluish color. Uh, Gibble has more of a yellow like underside and Gabite has the orange so we started off with Gabite shiny colors I definitely think this one works really well where we made the yellow highlights a light blue the body a royal blue and then we left the chest orange in the middle like it was normally because that's kind of how shiny Gabite looks I think it looks insane on Garchomp too and this is really cool um, this is definitely one of my favorites too of the shinies I designed I I can't really decide between the black one and this blue and orange one and then the last one I have is the shiny Gibble colors this one's like I mean don't get me wrong it's better than the original but I don't know it's it's okay I guess it's yeah definitely better than the original I do think the yellow on it isn't as cool as the orange i tried the orange and the like having the light blue skin and then the orange just made it look too much like the last one so i had to change it but uh, <laughs> i do definitely think i like the the gabite colors more and then the black skin tone one is way cooler but there's my shiny garchomps let me know what you guys think on this one as well because this was a very controversial one everyone absolutely hates this thing i didn't want to go the mega route where it's like pinkish purple because again it makes me think they were trying way too hard on it. it's the same with Gengar like they didn't need to make it ridiculously purple and completely different from the other stages of its evolution and completely different from itself I don't know it's just weird to me but let me know what you guys think on these shiny colors definitely a toss-up between the black and the dark blue one so that's my shiny Garchomp Next up, this is, I, I don't know if this is an unpopular opinion, but I think Shiny Moltres is like one of the worst shinies ever. Uh, a lot, like I, I said this about my tier list video, I think it is the worst of the three Kanto birds shinies. I think even Zapdos, I think is better than Shiny Moltres. Shiny Zapdos hardly changes. It doesn't look bad though. Shiny Moltres looks bad though. And that's mainly because of the disgusting fleshy pink color with the yellow and orange flames it has like they're just the grossest color combination they could have chosen for this legendary pokemon also what it could have been in the original gen 2 games where it had it shiny it was more of like a red and pink color for the flames too and pretty much that's what i'm doing for the shiny uh we're gonna change it to more of a pinkish and whitish pink color i will be real i am not the best at photoshop so this doesn't look as clean as i wanted but that's mainly because a lot of the yellow and orange is leaking through it but just the concept is there you gotta cut me some slack on this i didn't want to spend so many hours working on this thing but the concept is there i think all they need to do is make the flames like a pinkish and like white red and like even red i had they're like a red option would be cool too i didn't put a white red option i just wanted to make it simple because trying to select the shades of colors in the flames and changing them was pretty difficult so like even like red and white red and pink pink and white this is more of a pink and whitish color which i think looks so much better it makes it look so much cooler actually like a legendary pokemon instead of just a gross like raw chicken with some flames on it like i don't know it's it's way cooler this way so let me know what you guys think on shiny moltres 
obviously there's the galarian ones as well for the birds which i would change so if you do want to see those in a future video let me know but uh there's the kanto shiny mulches i had to talk about this one this one sucks i hate the shiny so much because of just how gross the flames look on it and finally we had to do it my favorite pokemon of all time dragonite doesn't have the greatest shiny. I will be real though, it's not the worst shiny, it's not that bad, but I figured I had to just put my interpretations on this. This one has more options because I wanted to be a little more creative with this, just actually narrow down what I would change with shiny Dragonite. So we have the regular and the shiny Dragonite here. Even in the older games, Dragonite has been kind of that gross green color. I think in the generation four and five games, it had the least gross green color, but they had the wings being a lighter purple which i didn't think looked good when they moved it over to 3d models i think they did the wings justice and they gave it that really deep purple color and i think that looks sick but the gross green they used for the skin tone just looks so off but I didn't want to change it too much because it's like it's it's just the shade of green I don't think it's that bad. It's just the shade of green doesn't work too well with it So what I did this one, I just kind of went crazy I changed it to blue skin tone with orange wings, which this one's crazy. I don't this one's not my favorite i will point this out this is not my favorite it's kind of like an inverse of the original non-shiny colors which is kind of cool and i do like blue shinies but this is not my favorite one i will just get that sh out of the way right now the next one i did is i wanted to just change the green color and i actually did this for the next one too but change the green color to kind of like a tealish green uh, more of the bluish side kind of like a minty green and i think this looks a lot better than the gross like i don't even know what color green that is but it's just it's just a gross color green but we have this nice teal one this one's also not my favorite though when i was really thinking about it what would make shiny dragonite look good what color green would be cool and i thought of just a deep forest green color and that's what we got with this one and this is it this is so much cooler than the regular shiny dragonite i would be so excited for this shiny all the time this would not be my favorite shiny i'm just gonna put that straight out but like this is what i think is the perfect shiny dragonite based on what we have obviously if we just went crazy i would try like a red or you know a bunch of different colors but i think if we had to go with the green and purple i think the purple color needs to stay the same and the green needs to get a lot darker and i this looks so much cleaner it's the little things you guys know me with my subtle changes the subtle change of the eyes on gengar the subtle change of the green eyes and curly q on Iglybuff. And the subtle change of just making the green on Dragonite a lot deeper makes it work so much better. This would be my ideal Dragonite based on the colors we have if they were to update it at some point. And I think this looks so cool. So yeah, that is pretty much it. Let me know what you guys thought on these shinies. But let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you would go crazy with these shinies or what to change. Also, if you do enjoy this video, make sure you leave a like on it again. And comment below if I should do another one and what Pokemon you would want to see me fix their shinies for. Because there's a lot of shinies in Pokemon. There's a lot of bad shinies in Pokemon. And there's already a few ideas I have for some other shiny Pokemon I want to fix. So let me know what you thought of this video. Let me know if you would change any of these shinies a different way. Or what you thought about the shinies that I decided to pick for these Pokemon. And yeah, that is going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, ring those notification bells, all that good stuff. Be sure to join the domination and I will see you in the next video.